everyone. So this is the mini cardiovascular block. Okay, really enjoyed learning about the heart and the vascular system, cardiovascular system. I was just having a hard time wrapping my head around the cardiac cycle in correlation with the heart sound and hemodynamics lingo. Um, assuredly, it's a very doable, especially if you take time to go through it thoroughly and slowly, which I wish I was able to do during this time, but uh, I was still playing the catch-up game of life and studies from the midterm. Uh, there's a phenomenon where you book a lot of things right after the midterm because you'll be free. <laughs> Anyways, this was then obviously the week where we got to dissect our cadavers to go through the heart, the valves, and the chambers. Such an amazing experience and really thankful for those who donated their bodies. Okay, so this mini cardiovascular block consists of week 9 hypertension and week 10 heart murmur. Week 9 was about hypertension. This was an interesting week for sure. I knew that hypertension and your blood pressure was really important to control, but it was really great to dive in deeper about why and how. Um, I'm imagining that many are aware that it's a common medical condition around the world. Um, however, maybe not aware that it's quite a silent disease. Symptoms do not develop until there is advanced damage in the target organs, namely the brain, heart, and kidneys. It can also damage the eyes as part of the complications later down the road. For example, hypertension can increase your cardiovascular risk because it accelerates atherosclerosis. For example, hypertension can increase your cardiovascular risk because it accelerates atherosclerosis. Um, most of hypertension is actually deemed as primary or sometimes formally called essential hypertension because there's no specific underlying cause that can be identified or remedied. Uh, of course, we went through secondary causes such as from cushion syndromes, etc. The, pharmacolo the pharmacology and learning the classes of medication and how they help lower blood pressure was probably one of the more important and significant things to review for the final. Um, the next week was um, heart murmur, week 10. I usually find embryology a little taxing for my mind, but learning about the embryology of the heart was very interesting. Um, it was really cool to find out that the heart begins to be on day 22 in the womb after fertilization. Um, this week, we learned about the natural history of congenital heart disease and pathophysiology of shunts and obstructions of the heart that can happen. I found CBL was really helpful to consolidate all the learning from the weeks as usual. But yeah, here's what I did for this mini block. I guess it was a two week period mostly. Just finished calm school. You're also <laughs> trapped. Today's October 27th. Yeah. It's summer. Yeah. <laughs> 
Kimia. Have you tried it? Let's go.